Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use SalesView's invoicing feature to invoice your customers. So first we'll show you how to invoice from salesview.com. Go to features and click invoicing. If you don't have invoicing under features, you can enable it from the App Center. To create an invoice, simply click create new invoice and you'll select your business location. If you only have one, it'll automatically be populated. You can search customers with the search field here and click search view all your customers by clicking view all or you can skip by clicking continue. If you want to add a customer simply check the box next to their name. If you want to invoice multiple customers you can do that as well. Still click continue and if we're gonna invoice Marcus for a men's golf polo simply click add to order next to men's golf polo. Put in our quantity here so it's just one polo. Choose a size, add any notes and we'll click add to order. If you want to add more items to the invoice, click add more items, or if you're finished, click checkout. Here you can see the invoice detail. So you can see the products on the invoice. If you need to edit or delete, you can do that here. You can see the subtotal, tax. If you need to remove tax, simply click here, and the order grant total. We also have a shipping status you can set here, and the customer information is over here. Next, if you click continue, It'll send that invoice. If you need to send it again, you can click here, print it, and click here. Next, I'll show you how to send an invoice from the SalesView iPad app. So if we switch to that app, so here we are on the SalesView iPad app. Now, if we want to invoice somebody for Swedish massage, you can touch that. And this is a by the hour product. So imagine you wanted to bill them for 90 minutes. You would simply touch the quantity and put it in 1.5. This works well for any by the hour service and we can also add additional products like a deep conditioner. Now we can either select a customer here from the list or can touch the orders button and just touch the email and put it in an email. So in this case let's say we're going to invoice Marcus again just put it in his email and touch send invoice. Get a pop-up and you just need to confirm and this order will stay open until the invoice has been paid for. Next, let's go back to our web browser and pull up Marcus's email and see what those invoices look like. So we click on mail and we can see the invoice from the pro shop which was the golf polo we did first and the invoice that we just sent from the SalesView iPad app. So you can see it shows the customer detail, shows what products and services are on there, and the grand total. And you can click Pay Now, and it will take them to a page uh, that shows the detail. And then you can click Pay Now, and it'll pull up a credit card entry page where he can put in his details. Now once the payment is paid, You'll get a notification via email that the invoice was paid, and it'll also show paid in salesview.com. Next, let's go back to salesview.com, and we'll go back to our invoicing feature, and we'll show you that you can see your outstanding and paid invoices. So first of all, let's choose today, and we'll click Submit. And if you have multiple locations, it'll break it down by location. Um, so we can see the two invoices that we created. This is the one from the payment device at our Beauty Spa Boutique location and the one we created from salesview.com uh, from the Pro Shop. So if we click the green plus button, we can see some additional options here. We can see the customer detail if you need to re-email it, pay it, click delete, or print. If we click pay, you can take cash payment, credit card, gift card, check, external card, etc. We go back we can also see um, the date time it was sent employee uh, customer again total etc so we can also see paid invoices so let's go back a little bit further last seven days and we can see some invoices that have been paid today as well and this will show also the product additional if you need to email it print it, you can change the employee uh, if you want it associated with a different employee. 
There's several other filter options as well. So you can break it down by payment device or location. You can say paid, deleted, outstanding. You can search by invoice ID, customer name, the last four of their credit card if they've paid it. And you can also see if it's been reconciled with your accounting and also the shipping status. If you have ones that are waiting to be shipping, maybe you're waiting to get from your supplier. You can also search by products. So if you need to find a specific invoice by product, you can do that here. Next, we're gonna show you how this information will show up in the reporting section. So we scroll back up, go to features, click reports. Anytime that a customer pays the invoice, uh, those will go into saved uh, the sales report, average ticket sales, which basically just shows you what your average transaction size. And if the invoices have any discounts, uh, those discounts will show up in the discount report. So we're gonna look at the sales report. And basically you can break this down by, you know, pie, line, bar, table. Um, if you have it, one of these other options, you can choose if you want it hourly over 30 days or daily over 30 days, daily over a year, weekly over a year, et cetera. In this case, we'll just leave it as pie chart. And we'll do a quick pick for the last 30 days. Now you can break this down by product, category. So if we do it by category, you can basically see all your sales, you know, for the, whatever period of time you put in for that category. So in this case, we can see that our spa services are the highest and spa products are the second highest. Uh, you can take this further and do it by store location. So you want to see all your sales per store if you have multiple locations. You can do it by employee if you want to see who's invoicing the most. And you can do it by you know, other level category or products. I hope this video helped. If you have further questions, please give us a call at 888-900-5819 anytime from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Central Time, seven days a week. Or send us an email to support at salesview.com anytime.